flag in the air. Roadrunner heat race number one is underway. Keniston gets the jump on Tyler Chase. Chase goes up the racetrack. Osborne's looking for a way by down low. Down the back straight away. Kaylee Parker a little sideways in car number 14. She gains back control and we stay green. Up front, Leon Keniston's gonna lead lap number one, but here comes Wayne right now in the outside groove. Paul oh, Wainwright in car number 27 on the outside groove, trying to take the lead away from Keniston. Ryan Parker's in the third spot. Billy Osborne's now up to fourth in car 55, and Tyler Chase rounds up the top five. Up front, your new leader, car number 27, Paul Wainwright. Osborne now dives to the bottom side on Brian Parker in car number eight. Keep an eye on Osborne pulling double duty tonight. He'll be in the 350 Super Modifieds as well in car number 55. Now Osborne dirt tracking into turn number three and four. Brian Parker dashed down to the bottom side. Parker unable to get the run he needs. Something to miss on car number 55. He goes up the racetrack and I'm sure he's heading down pit road. This was the only practice for the 55 of Osborne. He'll hit pit side. Back up front, Paul Wainwright continues to lead. Lap number four in the books. Keniston still second. Brian Parker, third spot. Melinda McCarthy now moves into fourth in car number 30. And Tyler Chase still rounding on your top five. Halfway home this time by five down. Five to go for Paul, the wheelman, Wainwright. Shaley Parker in car number 14, staying to the bottom side, staying out of trouble in her first start. Behind the wheel on the Chase Excavation Roadrunner. Parker keeping it straight, so that's good so far for the young lady. Up front, it is all Paul Wainwright right now in car number 27 in a different atmosphere, but now the battle's for the third spot. Melinda McCarthy dives to the bottom side on Brian Parker. Parker, a rookie contender in car number eight, a graduate from the Thunderlight Division at the Hudson Speedway. Falls back to the fourth spot. Field stringing out just a little bit now. Parker and McCarthy battling it out for that spot, but McCarthy has the advantage and now starting to put a couple car lengths between herself and that eight car Parker. This time by two laps to go for your leader Paul Wainwright, two to go at the line. Melinda McCarthy now in car number 30 has reeled in the second spot of Leon Keniston in car 13K. White flag in the air as Parker goes another lap down in car 14. Best battle on the racetrack is for the second spot. The only lady in the field, Melinda McCarthy, now goes to the bottom side on Keniston. Keniston pushes up the racetrack. Now Tyler Chase with trouble on the front straightaway. Checkered flag in the air. Heat number one goes to Paul, the wheelman, Rain Wright. Second will go to car number 30, Melinda McCarthy. Third to Leon Keniston. Fourth to the eight of Parker. Brian Parker in the eight, and I believe fifth, rounding out fifth, will be the one car of Kenny McElveen. The Stickney Boys in the house. There is the finest Roadrunner racer we've had in a while. Seth Stickney. Good to see Seth at the racetrack. Haven't seen him at Carriage Town lately, but we'll see him at the racetrack nonetheless. All right, heat number two for the Chase Excavation Roadrunners. Rolling onto the speedway. in the air, race number two is underway. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. got the jump, Cody Parker did not in car number 11. Bob Williams is in the second, Billy McCarthy next in line in car 31. Billy McCarthy now in car 31, goes to the bottom side on Cody Parker in car number 11 to take over that next spot. Tom. Billy McCarthy's into the third spot, car 31. Dan Sweeney's up to fourth. Cody Parker losing spots in car number 11. Trying to hang on in that fifth spot. Battle's gonna be up front now. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. has it in the double zero. Bob Blow, Mark Williams in car number 41 wants it. Bob Williams now right on the back bumper of your leader, little Jimmy Renfrew Jr. in car number double zero. Third is still Billy McCarthy, fourth Dan Sweeney. Now Flanders is up to fifth in car 22X. Flanders now sideways in the 22X, hangs onto it. Half 
halfway home that time by at the line. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. continues to lead, but he is facing heavy pressure from Bob Blom up Williams in car 41. Williams now in. Renfrew gonna go to the outside of Tebow in the 39. Tebow way up the racetrack that time, almost took the double zero out of Renfrew Jr. Renfrew Jr. able to get some space between himself and the 41 of Williams. McCarthy now in car 31. Still in the third spot now, the 39 of Tebow, the lap car in the way of Billy McCarthy now. McCarthy goes low. The 39 of Tebow having some trouble. Staying to the bottom side in car 39. This time by two laps remain for your leader, Jimmy Renfrew Jr. Bob Williams still hanging tough in the second spot in 41, trying to take that lead away. But Renfrew has not slipped up just yet. Down the back stretch now, Bob Williams right to the rear bumper, trying to look to the high side now in car 41. He's got one lap to make a move, one more trip around for Renfrew and Williams. Now Williams with trouble in car number 41. What happened there to Bob Williams? Did he blow it up and live up to his nickname? We'll find out come feature time. Tough break for Williams, checkered flag, heat race number two. Gonna go to little Jimmy Renfrew Jr. Second will go to Billy McCarthy in the 31 and rounding out the top three will be rookie contender Dan Sweeney in car number 12. So rookie of the year competitor Jimmy Renfrew Jr. your winner on opening day at the Bunny Brawl takes heat race number two checkered flag. Alright, 350 Super Modified McClellan Metal Finishing Dashes this year. The 350 Super Modified is brought to you by Autism Awareness and PP Chopper Shops.